founded in 1941, Coach is an American company specializing in luxury accessories such as handbags. Today, I want to demonstrate Coach's digital presence on website, social media, and email marketing through screen capture videos. First, let's look at the website. You can easily find your website through searching Coach on Google. The first result is your paid search. The second one is the organic search result. Below that, there is also six categories and nearby locations. When I click into the home page, the hero image and heading one are not about handbags, but the outerwear collections they want to advertise. The next section, Coach introduces their hashtag, Coach New York. The brand uses their user-generated content effectively. The four images here actually comes from Instagram, and you can tell the contributor and content through hovering or clicking to the images. The content is multilingual. This one's in Thai, and that one's in Korean. When you click the name of the contributor, it links to the actual Instagram post. Let's go back to the site. There's an automatic image slider for the handbags. For the What's New section, the images were not coming up because of a bug on the website. I noticed that several links on the site were broken, and I had to refresh the page. This might increase the bounce rate of the website. In more coach stories, a collab with Wizard of OZ shows up. I like the design of GIF here, especially the hovering effect with product info and price. Here, I notice the title of the Coach Originals is in a different font with the rest of the page. When I'm trying to select the text, I found that it's actually an image. At the bottom of the home page, Coach emphasizes on all the services it provides to the customers. The secondary nav has all its social links and email subscription form. One of the most interesting pages I found on the website is under the Customization tab because it has more interactive elements. The header includes a video which looks vintage to me. I think the video served its purpose, but there might be a better way to show its craftsmanship. When I click on the video, it pauses. Scrolling down the page, it has GIFs to show the result of customization. Dragging the bar here shows a variety of customized shoes. The transition between images is really smooth. Customizing shoes directly on the website is not a new function, but I do think the user interface is better than many other sites such as Nike. For that, it feels more fashionable to me. There's a lot of options to choose from, especially for the embellishments. Another header video is under the runway tab. The video is a clip from its runway show. This time, when I click on the video, a YouTube window pops up. The consistency between pages can be improved. This page is quite long with all the looks on the runway. I will prefer an image slideshow instead of this display. Let's look at the website's traffic on similar web. The total visits is about 4.32 million, and the bounce rate is 51%, higher than most others in the fashion category. More than half of the traffic comes from search, and less than 1% comes from referral. I think referral is an area the brand should pay more attention to by making more connections with the press and bloggers. 28% of the search are paid. The top traffic source in social are Facebook and YouTube, which are the channels we will look more closely in social. Coach also uses display ads made on Google Display Network. Now let's look at Coach's social media. I easily found all the social links through secondary navigations. The social media pages are also interlinked. Overall, Coach is doing a good job with social. It has 4.3 million followers on Instagram. I like the in stories, which have a lot of animations, details, and variety. Take a look at the newest Me Tripped collection. As for the posts, I can easily tell which ones are from the same campaign by the style of the image. The latest posts are about the Create Coach collection. It has elements of hashtags, locations, and celebrity quotes, which are used in most of the posts. This campaign is celebrities wearing the same leather jacket. The most popular post with 46k likes is about Coach Brown's lifestyle and his story with Coach. This one is a collab with Michael Jordan. I like the orange picture frame, which looks pretty unique to me. The Facebook page has almost the same posts as Instagram. Something I noticed about Facebook is that the brand tends to interact with its followers frequently by liking all the comments. 
When I first went to Coach YouTube channel, a window pops up saying confirm channel subscription. This is a pretty cool function to me and I don't see very often. Here's a really well-made film on Michael Jordan loses himself in a mysterious alleyway where the everyday and the extraordinary collide. I consider this as a branding strategy catering to the younger generation. Finally, let's look at your email marketing. I've been a subscriber since this September, and the frequency is about once per weekday. So your emails feel different with social media. Almost all emails are product catalogs built on a similar template. I don't think they spend much time on design layout and branding here. This section is cool because I don't know what algorithm they had to figure out my store. There seems to be a lot of room for improvement. Let's look at some other emails. A few of those use similar gift elements as the ones on the website, but none of those feel catchy enough as leading brands in the fashion category. They recently launched SendGrid as their email marketing service provider. Since Coach releases new products once per month and the price range is relatively high, I don't think I need to receive such emails every day. In conclusion, I have three suggestions for Coach's digital marketing strategies. Firstly, their website is well designed and interactive, but the errors that come up at times might ruin the user experience. Secondly, the brand is doing a good job by increasing website traffic to social media, but it should build up more solid connections with press and bloggers to increase referrals to the site. Thirdly, they should figure out a better email marketing strategy. I would rather receive product catalogs once per week, but also get updates on their creative content, such as the film featuring Michael Jordan.